Among the dozens that spoke out as Los Alamitos voted to exempt itself from the state's so-called sanctuary state law, teachers. I'm here to speak to, about my students who are too afraid to be here today. Jessica Riegert says she and her colleagues have heard troubling stories. They're having slurs yelled at them. They're afraid uh, to have their parents come and drop them off at school or pick them up from school um, because they're afraid that they might get pulled over and reported to ICE. One teen agreed to speak with Eyewitness News anonymously. Both her parents are undocumented. The city even um, proposed the law. Uh, I cried to school. She says that car ride has become more frightening since the ordinance passed. I think my future is so uncertain right now. I just don't know when the moment is finally actually going to come. My appearance gives me a louder voice. People look at me and want to listen to me a little bit more. And because of that, I need to pull up my students' voices. As opponents sue the city on this matter, teachers are teaming up with community activists. We need to be allies and make sure that they are being heard and understood and more importantly, are being protected. And students are taking notice. I'm very thankful that they're in my life because they've shown me unconditional support through it all. and. I'm just very happy that at least they could stand there. A glimmer of hope for a young girl living in uncertainty. I think wherever life takes me, it's going to be good. And I'm going to show my parents that their hard work paid off. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.